All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke. Okay, so wait, 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 hang on. Before we go over who's on the team, where are we? Okay, Fall Arbor Town. It's been a few days since uh, the last time I recorded. Just need to get my bearings, and I remember exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Not at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at the team. Let's see who we got up front. We got Tough, our leader. All right, Adam and Aaron with the Rockhead ability. He's at level 26. I believe everyone else is at level 24 is what I just saw. These are the stats holding the experience share. And in the attacks, we have Headbutt, Rock Slap, ugh, Mud Slap, Metal Claw, and Takedown. It's going to be one of those days you can already tell. Next up, we have Sure the Wobbuffet, the modest Wobbuffet with the Shadow Tag ability. Oh, holding the Petra Berry. These are the stats. And then the move set still. Mirror Coat, Safeguard, Encore, and Counter. Next up, we have Beacon the Pidgeotto. The Rash Pidgeotto with the Keen Eye ability. Here are the stats while holding the Oran Berry. That speed, though. That speed's going to be coming through. I feels it. And then the attacks, we have Tackle, Whirlwind, Gust, and Quick Attack. Next up, we have Mass, the Jolly Spender. <sighs> With the old Temple ability. Black Gas, uh, excuse me, Black Glasses is the item. Uh, these are the stats. And then the attacks, we have Psybeam, Uproar, Faint Attack, and Hypnosis. Next, we have Jolt, the Relaxed Electrike with the Lightning Rod ability. Holding the Pekka, Pecha Berry. These are the stats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the attacks, we have Rock Smash, Thunder Wave, Spark, and Quick Attack. And finally, we have Roll, the Relaxed Weeping Bell with Chlorophyll for the ability. Oran Berry is the item, and these are the stats. Then we have, uh, uh, for the attacks, Acid, Poison Powder, Vine Whip, and Wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Team Snaps and Claps so far. Okay, so last episode we just made our way here to Fall Arbor Town. We just made our way here to Fall Arbor Town. And hmm, one of the things I need to do is get repels. Yes, remembering things. All right, so let's get some repels. And they don't sell. The oh, super repels. Okay, dope, dope. Uh, let's get ten. Let's get ten. We'll be on the safe side and get ten. I think we also need some potions. Let's check what we do have. Yeah, we don't have any potions of any sort, do we? Okay, they're, they're all the way at the top. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's get some super potions. Super potions. There we go. Maxing out on super potions. We'll be all right when it comes to balls. We have literally eight dollars to our name now, and that's all right. That's okay. Uh, what's beautiful about Far Arbor Town is that it is just a very, very quaint and simple town. This is the Moo Tutor's house. Uh, he'll he'll let us he'll let our Pokemon learn new moves, which would be great. Which would be great. Except they don't have anything that's really amazing just yet. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Let's go figure out what's going on with Professor Cosmo and uh, Team Magma. But we're at Route 14, which gives us the opportunity to learn a new move after we go to the Fossil Maniac's house. What's up? My big brother's the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. I hope it's dig. TM28, normally it's dig. If you make a Pokemon dig inside a cave, you return to the entrance. Okay. Yes, it is dig. Who can learn dig? Which of you clowns? Only mask? 
I kind of don't want to teach mass dig. I kind of don't want to teach mass dig. I, I, that seems like a waste of a waste of a little bit of power in our move set, you know. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't go without a fossil, go to the desert on Route 111. From what I've heard, fossils that were buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface from sandstorms. Noted. All right, we could get us a fossil over on Route 111. I'm down. I'm down for that. All right, continuing. Route 114, let's see. All my Pokemon does is signal beam. No one dares to come near me. That's interesting. If you would, please take this TM away. Normally it's Roar. Normally it's Roar. I, I wonder how many different situations that creates where he says normally all they do is this move. All right. So we got signal beam for the team. It's a bug type attack. Let's see. We got the old rod, so now we can do some fishing, but the old rod should only give us the same item. I'm sorry, the old, same Pokemon for encounters over and over. If I'm not mistaken, that's how, that's how the old rod should work. I don't know if it works randomized based on location. We can find out. I guess we can find out with no real problem. Uh, because if it does give us the same thing, then that's just a that's just Jupe's Claws. So let's see. Let's do a little bit of fishing here. Oh, we got a bite. What is it? What is it? It's Ty Rogue. It's a Ty Rogue. That would be fun. That would be fun to see on the team. Let's try and catch him. Joe, you got Thunder Wave. But then anybody else is going to kill him. Anybody else. Yep. We're going to Joe. Anybody else would kill our poor Tyro. Come on. Uh, I don't think. I honestly don't think we could do a single move against them. Here we go. Here's a great ball. Damn, it escaped. Oh, no. He's the first one to escape. All right. Pokeball it is for you, good Tyro. All right. We got a Tyro on the team. What's interesting about Tyro is it can evolve into three different Pokemon. Let's see. Tyrogue is the scuffle Pokemon. Tyrogue becomes stressed out if it does not get to train every day. When raising this Pokemon, the trainer must establish and uphold various training methods. All right. Give it a nickname. Give our Tyrogue a nickname. Tyrogue gets a nickname. Our Tyrogue gets a nickname. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got to make sure he gets that workout. All right. So Old Rod does not encounter the same Pokemon, same species of Pokemon over and over. As I was saying, he can evolve into three different types. I'm sorry, three different species of Pokemon. That'd actually be helpful if we can manipulate. If we can manipulate what Pokemon it is or what he would evolve into. That would be very helpful. Let's see if we can get in this house. This is Lynette's house. All right. She's not home. Oh, uh, I knew what I meant to do. I realized it when I was editing the last episode. Uh, there was a woman at the computer in the Pokemon Center. I'm pretty sure that was Lynette. All right. It'll be all right. Eventually, we'll go back and meet Lynette. Uh, let's see. You guys should be fine if we if we make our way into... Oh, Lord. We got encounters. It's a Beldum. We could have had a Beldum on the team. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. He's got headbutt. Uh, he's got levitate. We're getting out of here. We will not waste anybody's time. Not today, at least. All right. So we want to get into the cave. Ooh. After this battle, we want to figure out what Professor Cosmo is up to with Team Magma. 
if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Okay. Mm. Hey, it's Kindler Bernie with his lovely Jigglypuff. All right, here we go, Tough. Come on. Come on. Good work. Ooh, that crit, though. Next up is a spinner rack. This going to be easy. Come on. Accuracy drop. This right here is an accuracy dropper. Our right, speed drop. I mean, our speed's already pretty low. It's already pretty low. Come on. Nightshade. Nothing doing. Here we go. Good work, tough. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right, let's continue. We got to save Professor Cosmo. Or maybe Professor Cosmo's working with uh, Team Magma. We got to stop him. We either got to save him or stop him. And this, this hiker is going to get in our way. All right, up front, it's Chen Shu. Here we go. This time, we're way better equipped to deal with the Chen Shu. Come on. Yes. All right. All right, Joe, catch. Oh, no, we're not. He might have Volt Absorb. Let's try it out. He's got Volt Absorb. Damn it. Okay. I should have gone to roll. I forgot roll was on the team. That's completely my fault. Switching to roll. Yes, we're definitely better equipped. We got two options here. Flail. Flail took took people out last time. Lord have mercy. Here's poison powder. Let's start there. We got to make sure that flail is flail is used when it's not going to be powerful. We gotta make sure it's usually not gonna be powerful. And then once he gets to where it is, we need to just outright kill Chincho. Uh let's see. Let's go. Let's, let's wrap it. Let's wrap it up. Come on. Come on, roll. Damn it, roll. Let's try it again. Play -o. This was going to do more. Oh, no, it did. Look. Different targets. Yeah, different different targets. Okay, never mind. I was going to say it did less. That's not how it works. It's not how the move works. Here's wrap. All right, now it's starting to grow. Damn it, roll. All right. Let's heal this bad boy. Come on. That flail's gonna keep growing. We need to get rid of the paralysis. All right, roll. You got this. And then we wrap it up. Next, uh, not wrap. We vine whip it next turn. It should be done. Should be done with no deaths. Oh, it's still roll. Still confused. Did it? Woo! Woo! Proud. Proud of you, roll. Next. Curlia. Oh, no. We've got to get you out of there, Roll. This thing better not have pursuit. This thing better not have pursuit. Damn it. I shouldn't have gone tough. Ah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not all the way here today. I'm clearly not all the way here. Here's that. Take down. Come on. Yes. Yes. With the one shot. All right, Ghastly's the last one. How about we Metal Claw it up? Perfect. Perfect! Tough to level 27, boy. The mountains are unforgiving. We got stuff to do. I'm not worried about you talk about mountains. Uh, we need to heal, uh, heal up Jolt, though. Let's blow a potion here. Let's blow a potion here, potion there, and we're moving on. Damn it. Damn it, this man. Yo, lay who? You're supposed to shout, Yo, lay he who, since it doesn't echo here. I'm time for your games. 
on top of your games. This professor could be in trouble slash could be trouble, and you want to play games. Sugar Reed is up front against Tough. Well, Beaks, you're up, Beaks. Razor Leaf. Good call. Damn, it was a crit. All right, here's the gust. All right, Beaks. Nope, it missed. Here we go. One down. Next up, the full picks. All right. Ooh, we can't switch to tough. We can't switch to tough. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Here's the gust. Hold this gust for us, fam. And one more should do it. Oh, quick attack. Good work, Vulpix. But you got to go. Vulpix actually looks pretty dope in, in this one, in this game. I think this is where Vulpix's sprites actually start to truly shine. They look amazing. Yo, Leo. All right, moving on. Y'all have wasted a lot of our time here today. Everybody's good before we run in this cave. I wonder if it's since it's a cave. Do we get a new encounter? This is Meteor Falls. Let's go. Yep, new place, new encounter. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Togepi? Togepi? I think we found a Togepi on every single playthrough so far. It's interesting that we keep running into Togepi. Joel, be careful. Be careful, Joel. Not, not to kill it, that you don't die. Togepi's are monsters. It's got to yawn. All right, Joel. Get your thunder wave out. Metronome. Magic coat. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We can't attack this thing. We will kill this thing. We can't switch to anybody. We will kill this thing. Let's just throw a ball. Pokeball. Damn. Damn. All right. Let's see now. Who? What? Who's the weakest on the team besides Sure? Who's the weakest on the team besides Sure? It's Jolt. Jolt physically deals the least damage. Now let's look at the moves. I think Quick Attack is the one I want. No, actually, oh no, I don't want Rock Smash because Togepi's normal type. Let's just go Quick Attack. If we kill it, we kill it. Team's got a lot of members so far. If we kill it, we kill it. Metronome. Sky Uppercut. Okay, who? Come on, Joe. Get up. Metronome. Drill pack. Okay. Nothing's doing. Come on, Joe. Sweet kiss. And now Joe is confused on top of everything. All right, Joe. You're pushing it, buddy. You're pushing it, buddy. Charm. Lower the attack. Good. Good. That's exactly what we want to happen. All right, Jolt's up. Confusion. Come on. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's not a lot at all. That's not a lot at all. Come on, Jolt. Break through. That's all we need is for you to break through. Roll out. Is it stuck in roll out? Damn it, Jolt. Yeah, it's stuck in the rollout. The damage is gonna grow each turn until it misses. Come on, Jolt. I think that's all we can take. I think I need to go catch catch this Togepi right here. Come on.
Did it. Did it. Oh, that was kind of creepy, Joe. Or not creepy. That was kind of scary, Joe. All right. Togepi is the spike ball Pokemon. As its energy, Togepi uses the positive emotions of compassion and pleasure exuded by people and Pokemon. This Pokemon stores up feelings of happiness inside its shell then shares them with others. How cute. How cute. Togepi. This is cute to Togepi. All right, we probably should heal. We probably should heal Joel in the event that we need him. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do here, ladies and gents. We're just blowing our super potions. We're just blowing them. It'll be okay. We got a great ball. How wonderful. How wonderful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this? <laughs> With this meteorite, Mount Chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. We, Team Aqua, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But this, it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing you, you Team Aqua dingbats. Oh, they just they just up and bounced. Who might you be? Ah, so you are chill. I am Archie. As the head of Team Aqua, I have dedicated myself to thwarting the dangerous plans of Team Magma. Why? Because Team Magma is a grave threat to us all. They have committed many destructive acts in their bid to expand the land. We, Team Aqua, love the sea above all. Team Magma is the sworn enemy. Archie, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Or chill. You should keep your eye out for Magma too. Farewell. I like their use of bandana. All right. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. I usually study meteorites at Fall Arbor Town. Then some people from Team Magma made me guide them to t Meteor Falls. They promised me that they would excavate meteorites for me. But I, Team Magma tricked me. Oh, that meteorite, it will never be mine now. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? I don't know, fam. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. They got more Togepi's in here. I don't know what Togepi thinks this is. But it's not, this is not the Togepi show. We got things to do, Togepi. Oh, we got lemonade. How refreshing. All right, cool. Let's see if we can GTFO. Hey, we're out at Route 115. Is this, this isn't the same as the route that we just left, is it? No, it's not. 115, it's a new route. New encounter. Um, For those of you paying attention, Route 115 is just north of Rustboro City. So we're going to end up back towards where we start our journey uh, in just a hot second. Let's see, is there anywhere... Ooh, I almost ran into this man. Is there anywhere to get an encounter other than other than this water before we run into this man? I think we just need to run into this man. Maybe there's grass somewhere. I don't like, I don't like fishing in this game too much, to be honest. Fishing's not one of my favorite things in this game because you have to be paying attention. <laughs> Ultimately, that's it. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. That That's the best you got? It's like, that that's on the top of your resume? That you bust bricks with your forehead? It's Bagon. All right, Bagon. Hold this takedown for us, fam. Here's a bite. It's a crit. But it's not very effective. Here you go. Hold another takedown. You've earned it. You've earned it. Ew, that crit though. Ah, my head is busted. Like I was saying, that's, that's, the, that's the best you got. Like out of all your skills, that's what you brag about. That's what you brag about at, at job interviews. Let's break this rock and pick up that item. Hey, we got another super repel. We haven't even used the ones that we have so far. 
Alright, there's trees here. I don't see any grass patches. Any patches of grass, I should say. Yeah, it's looking like our encounter is just going to be fishing. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright, so let's go do a little bit of fishing. Let's see what we got. Not the nibbling. Oh, oh, there's an item here. It's a timer ball. It's a timer ball. Timer ball is probably my favorite design wise. They look the coolest. Not a nibble. It's a it's it's more let me see. I think I think it has images in here. Timer? No, they don't show what it looks like. It's it's like a a white ball, but then it's got little red ear muffs on the side, I believe. I think it's I think it's red. And it's got an arrow pointing down where it might be black earmuffs and then a red arrow pointing down. This is Caterpie. This is Caterpie for our encounter here. We caught a Metapod already. We have magic in the box. This is not dupes. This is not the duplication clause because we don't have a Caterpie. Y'all know how I feel about running into Caterpie over and over in our playthroughs. Both this Thunder Wave. All right. Here's a Pokeball Caterpie. We can either not get this encounter or get this encounter. Oh my God, it doesn't want to get caught. Oh my God. Let's try it again. We either get this encounter or not get this encounter. Not getting it is a waste. Getting it is a waste. We got Caterpie on the team. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. Caterpie has a voracious appetite. It can devour leaves bigger than its body right before your eyes. From its antennae, uh, this Pokemon releases a terrifying, uh, ter terrifically strong order. Ooh. Ooh. Give it a nickname, sure. I'm going to nickname it, even though it's a female, I'm going to nickname it after one of my friends who does videos as well. His favorite Pokemon is Caterpie. This is Kratos. Kratos the Caterpie. All right, so we got our encounter for the day. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. Okay, so we've made our way back to Restboro City. What I'm going to do very quickly is heal up. We're going to heal up, and then we'll continue where we're going to pick up from tomorrow. All right? Okay, so after healing up in Restboro City, what we're going to do is head back... Uh, to this route here. This is what, route 112, something like that? 116. Oh, I think we didn't fight that man yet. Okay. So what we can do from here is we can head back. We can head back to this cave. I bought repels. Why don't I just use them? Why don't I just use them? This man. Oh, it's you! You're that person who not only helped me in Pellerberg Woods, but also got my stolen package and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that a package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. It's a repeat ball. Our new Pokeball will be available at the Pokemart in Rustboro. Please do try it out. Thank you and bye bye. I love me some repeat balls. Uh, repeat balls work better if you use it on a Pokemon that you've already caught. How useful is that in our Nuzlocke? Uh, and timer balls, I should have explained that earlier. Timer balls work better as excuse me they work better as the encounter passes in turns i think the max is 40 so on like the 40th turn the ball is as strong as it can possibly be all right so we need to come back to this cave here if you remember we went to what time was that 
Damn, what town was that? I, can't, I don't remember offhand. It's the Verdant Turf. Yeah, Verdant Turf. I was going to say it's the town that Wally is in now. We went to Verdant Turf Town and tried to go to the other side of the cave and break down one of these one of these uh, rocks, but we did not have a gym badge that would make it possible to do so. Now that we do, Joe, let's use rocks, man. And reunite these two lovers. Wow, you shattered that block boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this TM. If you remember, this man was the sole person that's trying to dig through this cave so that he can very easily reunite with his girlfriend, his lover, the woman over here. We got HMO4. We got HMO4. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That HM contains strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even large boulders. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. If you remember, Wanda is Wally's cousin. There's a lot of story happening. That's wonderful. Please take some rest in my home. I don't know why I went that high. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. So with that done, with that done, now we can very easily return to Verdant Turf Town. Okay. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Remember, we need to get back to Mount Chimney. I believe we're a lot closer here at Mount Chimney or to Mount Chimney than, uh, than we are in Rustboro, Rustboro City. So we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to call in an episode here. We've actually done a lot today. we made a lot of progress today. Our next goal will be making a Mount Chimney and figure out what Team Magma is up to. <sighs> we got a lot on our hands, okay? If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, and all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now it's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a new video posts to the channel, whenever we do something like a live stream. That way you get to see everything else that Alt Play has to offer. Thank you for checking us out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play.